It's coming to the end of Graham's working week and he's back in Staffordshire to face his toughest challenge yet. To rebuild a broken bond between two best friends. <laughs> Terrier Ted turned on Mike after he had a stroke three years ago. It was the one way in the all. On his last visit, Graham helped wife Pat teach Ted that going for Mike was unacceptable. Right, tell him. Right, step in, step in. And Ted began to realise that Mike was a friend once again. Good boy, Ted. Good boy. Clearly the training has to be different for Mike to, uh, to, to with Pat. Um, and I've got, I've got a couple of ideas in mind of things I can do. Well, I'm going to try something today that I, I, I don't normally use in dog training, but I think it might be right for Mike. But before Graham gets to work on that, he wants to see how things are going. So, how have you been getting on? I feel a lot more confident. You look it. And I think, as well, that Ted seems a lot happier. Great. With Ted's behaviour showing an improvement, the hope is that eventually he'll learn that it's better to be friends with Mike than enemies. But Mike still needs his own way to reinforce this. Now, clearly, I can't say to Mike, you know, swing your leg round quickly uh, and do a block. That, that's not possible. And I want something extra in the way of saying no that has a bit of power to it that would make Ted listen. And Graham's brought just the ticket to make Ted's ears prick up. It's literally compressed there. That's all it is, right? Um, and it makes a sound. <laughs> but here's me thinking, if we tape it to the top of your stick, all right, so that it's always there, all you need to do is put your finger on it as and when. Yeah. You can operate that with your stick. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> with these compressed air sprays, it's really important that we don't spray at the dog. We're not trying to blow air at him. You know, we could hurt his eyes uh, or his nose. So that's not what we're aiming to do. It's simply a can of air that makes a loud noise. By using a strong sound to deter Ted's bad behaviour and praise when he's good, Graham hopes that Ted will learn to reconnect with Mike. So I think what we do, Mike, is if, if you take a few steps towards me, if he's a good boy, you're allowed to tell him, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, good boy, that's fine. But if he does launch at you, um, then you can use your, your air spray now. Okay. So, um, so literally a good old, you know, and you can say no at the same time. That's yeah. fine as well. Both Graham and Mike are in uncharted waters with this one. But will Ted listen and lay off Mike? That's brilliant. Let's get ready. No! There can. That's it. Well done, Mike. Good boy, Teddy. Good boy. That's nice. For three years, Mike's been living in fear of his best friend. But it seems Ted is learning to accept Mike once again. I feel a lot happier now. Do you? We've got a long way forward from what we were like last time. Yeah, 